Managing the COVID-19 Special Education Landscape Video Shorts Will my child's scheduled or upcoming IEP meetings be impacted? What do we know? What questions do we still have? What resources are available if viewers have more questions or want more information or want to be updated? Hi, my name is Callie and I'm an advocate with the Arc of Aurora. Today's topic is Will my child's upcoming or scheduled IEP meetings be impacted by the school closures? Here's what we know. As of now, there have been no changes to IEP timelines or deadlines. That means that annual IEPs still need to be completed by their yearly deadline. IEP reevaluations still need to be completed within 60 days of you signing a consent form. And that means that initial testing needs to be done within 60 days of a consent form and an IEP written within 90 days. In the event that you hold this meeting to uphold the deadline, and then you feel like things didn't get wrapped up the way that they would have if we had more time, you are more than welcome to request amendments to the IEP at a later time. Depending on what you and your team agree to, this can be done using a written document, or it can be done by holding another meeting. Here's what we're still unsure of. We don't know how assessments will look for reevaluations since IEP team members like speech pathologists, occupational therapists, and teachers can't see your child face to face. This may mean that you'll be receiving questionnaires in the mail or via email, or that other forms of testing may be used that don't involve face to face communication. We also don't know how the meetings themselves will be held. Depending on what you, your team, and your child all agree to, the meeting may be held via video conference, like with a format such as Zoom, or over the phone. If you need any more information, I would highly suggest going to the websites of the Colorado Department of Education or the Office of Education on a federal level and checking out their, their resources regarding timelines, your rights, and any areas that may be flexible during this time. As always, reach out to your special education case manager your building administrator, or your ARC advocate if you need anything at all or have questions. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more from the ARC of Aurora and be sure to follow us on social media. Stay tuned for more information on how the COVID crisis may impact your family member's special education or reach out to your ARC of Aurora advocate at 720-213-1420. We are here to help.